I, I was writing about growing up in Coryell County, picking cotton, cutting wood, and, uh, and uh, two or three people suggested to me, said, you really ought to write a book, or publish it as a book. My son-in-law is a writer, and he encouraged me, said he would help him get it to the book and getting it published. And so that, two or three factors like that came in. Nature of the people here, they're good people. They're the salt of the earth. They have a lot of good friends here. In fact, I've often thought about uh, retiring here. So I come back every year to have a reunion of our high school class. And uh, so I've been back several times. When I was here, 400 people claimed that was go with their home. <laughs> now it's 40,000. I remember working, they were building Fort Hood when I lived here. So I got a job at Fort Hood, first job I ever had in my life, except for picking cotton. And uh, paid 40 cents an hour. And I thought, hell, that is all the money on earth. <laughs> you see, people, kids growing up in, in this county when I was here had no thought of going to college. For damn few of them did. Just couldn't afford it. And I often thought that if I could make a contribution, it would be in, in uh, even forming the College of the mainland. So I would encourage them to study as, as widely as they can. Seek out their own destiny, what, what, what is the best in life for them.